Across the African continent, seismic shifts are sending shockwaves through the corridors of power. The recent events in Africa are causing unease among its leaders, a lurking fear of who's next. Stares at long-serving African presidents in the face. This unfolding drama unfolds on multiple fronts and has a particular focus on the military. It's a storm we could dub the wind of coups, blowing across Africa's political landscape. All eyes are now fixed on two powerful African presidents, Cameroon's 90-year-old President Paul Biya and Uganda's 78-year-old President Yoweri Museveni. Both rulers have been in power for decades. Biya, shortly after the coup in Gabon was announced, began making new changes at the Central Administrative Unit of the Ministry of Defense. In a decree, Mr. Biya made some significant changes by appointing new staff members at the Ministry of Defense's Central Administrative Division. As for Museveni, the world is watching closely for his next move, sensing that change is on the horizon. Paul Biya has held the presidency of Cameroon since 1982. His political journey began as the Prime Minister of the country from 1975 to 1982 before ascending to the presidency. A shocking revelation for many Cameroonians is Bia's intention to run for yet another term of office during the 2025 election. This enduring tenure has been marked by a mix of accomplishments and controversies. While his government has achieved certain milestones, such as infrastructure development, Bia's extended rule has also faced criticism for allegations of corruption, electoral irregularities, and an increase in crime rates. Yoweri Museveni assumed the presidency of Uganda in 1986 and holds the distinction of being the longest-serving president in Ugandan history. His rule surpasses even the notorious Idi Amin's regime from 1971 to 1979. Museveni also commands the Uganda People's Defense Force as its commander-in-chief. Much like Biya, his leadership has been a mixed bag. While there have been commendable achievements, including relative political stability, Uganda has struggled with challenges such as political succession uncertainty, economic stagnation, a burgeoning youth population, an influx of refugees from neighboring countries, and pervasive poverty. Museveni's leadership has also faced criticism for its authoritarian tendencies and suppression of political dissent. Recent upheavals in Africa over the past three years, the African continent has borne witness to a series of coup d'etats, causing significant geopolitical changes. This sequence commenced in Mali in 2020, where two coups transpired within a span of nine months. On August 18, 2020, President Ibrahim Boubacar Keita was overthrown by the military, leading to the formation of a transitional government in October. Fast forward to 2021, specifically, on May 4, a subsequent coup unfolded as the military arrested the president and the prime minister. Colonel Asami Goita was subsequently inaugurated as the transitional president in June. Guinea followed suit on September 5, 2021, with President Alpha Conde overthrown by a military coup. On October 1, Colonel Mohamedi Dambuya assumed power, becoming the new president. Sudan witnessed a significant transition on October 25, 2021, as soldiers led by General Abdel Fattah al bahin ousted transitional civilian leaders. These leaders had been entrusted with guiding the nation toward democracy after enduring 30 years of dictatorship under Omar al-Bashir, who himself was deposed in 2019. In early 2022, Burkina Faso joined this sequence of upheavals. On January 24, President Rock Mark Christian Caboret was removed from power by the military, with Lieutenant Colonel Paul Henri Sandiogo Damaba ascending to the presidency in February. However, Damaba's rule proved to be short-lived. On September 30, 2022, he was dismissed from his position by the military due to perceived shortcomings in addressing pressing issues within the country. Captain Ibrahim Traore took over as his replacement. Niger experienced its own coup on July 26, 2023. The military announced the overthrow of President Mohamed Bazoum, replaced by Abdurrahman Tiani. Subsequently, the Gabonese military orchestrated yet another coup, 
nullifying the results of the recent election that had declared incumbent President Oli Bongo as the winner. Notably, all these coups have come with the promise of returning power to civilian rule by 2024. However, the coups are constantly gaining ground, and international bodies like ECOWAS and the AU have consistently condemned the coup actions. These condemnations typically emphasize the importance of upholding democracy and respecting the rule of law. The international community and regional organizations have called for a swift return to civilian rule. They advocate for the holding of free and fair elections to re-establish legitimate governance. In some cases, like those in Niger, Burkina Faso, and Mali, sanctions are imposed on the coup leaders and their supporters. These sanctions include travel bans, asset freezes, and dismissal from these organizations. The goal is to exert pressure on the coup leaders to step down and facilitate the restoration of democracy. France, on the other hand, which has been an integral part of all these countries, Mali, Burkina Faso, Guinea, Chad, and Niger, has been asked to leave. Recently, Niger took a firm decision to remove France from its territory. For now, the French are still lurking around Niger. Bia and Museveni, shaken foundations. These events serve as a backdrop to the apprehensions plaguing Paul Bia and Yoweri Museveni. Their protracted stay in power has earned them control over crucial resources and institutions. Leaving power would entail relinquishing this influence over their respective nations. Moreover, considering their regimes have faced allegations of corruption and electoral manipulation, the possibility of facing legal consequences, potentially imprisonment, looms ever larger. Cameroon, for instance, has been embroiled in the Anglophone crisis for approximately seven years, creating a complex situation for Bia. His strained relationship with Anglophone Cameroonians places him in a tight position. Additionally, in 2018, after Bia was declared the winner of the presidential election, opposition party militants cried foul, alleging widespread electoral irregularities. In a parallel vein, Uganda has grappled with its own set of challenges. These include an uncertain political succession, economic stagnation, a youthful demographic bulge, a refugee influx from South Sudan, and deeply entrenched poverty. All these factors, coupled with the mounting pressure from the media, serve as potential triggers for further political turbulence in these countries. Moreover, the younger generation in Africa is increasingly vocal in their demand for a transformation of the continent's political systems. They leverage digital tools for organizing protests, disseminating information, and mobilizing support. Social media platforms amplify their voices, enabling the rapid spread of ideas and facilitating connections among like-minded individuals on a global scale. Digital activism has become a potent force, democratizing political discourse and holding authorities accountable. As previously mentioned, the possibility of witnessing another coup in Cameroon, Uganda, and other African nations remains almost unavoidable. This is especially the case since both presidents, aged above 70, plan to extend their tenures for yet another term. These developments raise profound questions about the state of democracy and governance in Africa. The continent's history has been marked by limited peaceful transitions of power, and these ongoing dynamics underscore the urgency of addressing these complex issues. As we reflect on the ever-evolving political landscape in Africa, we are compelled to ponder why peaceful transitions of power have proven elusive. These critical questions, as well as potential answers, lay at the heart of Africa's political journey. We invite you to share your thoughts and insights in the comments section below. If you are new to this channel, we encourage you to like and subscribe for continued updates on recent events shaping the African continent. The winds of change are sweeping across Africa, and together, we explore the profound transformations taking place on this diverse and dynamic continent.